Hello, my students at home. This is online teaching coming to you from St. Charles College of Nature, from the Department of Basic Science Tech. The subject of today is basic science, and the topic is sound damage. Specific objectives. By the end of the lesson, the student will be able to one define sound energy, two state the form through which sound can be produced, three state the form ca sound can be transmitted, four state two properties of sound energy, five state two different between noise and music, six mention at least two classes of musical instruments. Seven, define echo. Eight, mention at least two applications of echo. Definition of sound energy. Sound is a sensation produced through an elastic medium from a vibrating body to a listener. Production of sound. A vibrating body can produce audible sound if it vibrates at a frequency range from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. This frequency range is for human beings which vary from one type of animal to another. One can produce vibration of air column in flute or whistle by blowing, and string by plucking, and on rod by striking. Examples of different methods of producing sound we have flute, that is the local object, or whistle, then we have jitter. You will see, see them in the diagram. Properties of sound energy. Sound wave does not travel in a vacuum. It needs a material medium for its transmission. That is why the travelers, those people that are going into space, when they are in space, they, they can't produce any sound. There is no sound that can be produced there because it is a vacuum. There is no air there. Second, sound waves can be reflected by plane surfaces. Third, like light, light waves, sound waves are refracted as they pass from one medium to another. Four, Sound waves can also undergo diffraction and the interference as light waves. Transmission of sound. Sound is transferred in form of wave motion. You see the diagram here? It, this is the form through which sound is transferred from one place to another, showing amplitude, the period it takes, and the time taken. Classification of sound. Sound can be classified into two groups, namely noise and musical notes. Noise is sound produced due to the vibration of irregular frequencies. Such irregular vibration result in an unpleasant mixture of sound. You will not hear any. You will not hear any meaning when noise is being made. When so many people are talking. You will not hear any of them, and there is no meaning, meaning of what they are saying because they are pre producing that sound with different frequencies. Musical notes are sound produced by vibration of irregular or constant frequency. A musical note possesses the characteristics of pitch, loudness, and quality. Here we see. Uh, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. These are musical notes and they have constant or regular vibration or intervals between one another. Differences between noise and music. One, noise has irregular vibration, while music has regular vibration. Two, Noise has no fixed frequency of vibration, while music has constant frequency of vibration. Terrain. Noise is an unpleasant sound. 
why music is a melodious sound. That is why we used to have music that are, you used to leave somebody to sleep or music that we used to make a child that is crying to stop crying because if you are singing the child will like to be hearing the tune of the music thereby keeping quiet some musical instruments musical instruments are classified into wind instruments two string instruments three percussion instruments one when instrument, these may sound through a vibrating column of air. Example, we have a trumpet, pipe organ, cellophone, flute, cradlet, whistle. All these are wind instruments because you, you add air before they can, you can hear any sound. Different musical notes are produced by different lengths of a column set into vibration. Number three. Number two, string instruments. The use of string instruments is on the fact that the frequency of vibrating string depends on its length, mass, and tension in the string. Examples of string instruments include the piano the violin, the jitter, as we see in the diagram we have seen before. Today, percussion instrument. These are instruments that produce sound by vibration of membrane, rod, or place when struck. Examples are bell, guns, xylophone, talking flutes, fox, and so on. And it is this thing percussion instrument that we use to call students together in a school where you struck a bell on a rod and the students all over the compound will know that the bell is calling them. Reflection of sound or echo. If you don't call it reflection of sound, we call it echo. An echo is a sound heard after the reflection of sound waves from a plane surface. The plane surface is another medium. These take place from hard surfaces like wood, stone, block wall, and metals, as well as liquid surfaces. The reflected sound reaches the ear at inter intervals equal to the time taken by the sound to travel twice to the distance between the bars. Now we can calculate the time taking the, mm, the sound to go forward and come back and we hear it as an echo. We can calculate the time using the formula two times distance between bars U over velocity of the sound, that is the speed of the sound. Then we can if we divide them, we have the time taken for the, sign, for the sound to travel through and then flow. Application of echoes. Echoes are, using, are used in different ways. If we can, we can say application of echoes, or we say uses of echoes, or we say importance of echoes. One. Echoes are used to determine the speed of sound in air. Now, the speed of the sound in air can be calculated using the formula. Velocity of the sound equals to 2D over T, where D is the distance between the observer and the plane surface. T is the time in second to hear the echo from the time of production of the sound. Two. Echoes are used in the determination of the depth of seabed from a ship. When a ship is moving in water, the people that is piloting the ship will use echo to know whether they are heading to deep water area or shallow water area. The echo they, they have as they produce it from the top of the water will tell them whether the place they are, are going 
is deep or whether the place is shallow. Seven, efforts are used to detect the position the, the, in the detention of the position of submarine in the sea. The submarine people are those people that swims inside the ocean. They are sea travelers. They swim. And for you to know the position they are from the outside, the scientists use echo to determine that. The echo, the sound of the echo, we tell them the position that person inside the water where the, the person is. Four, echoes are used in the exploration of gas and the oil. It is echo that the scientist uses those people that are draining oil from all these oil, oil producing states, where they are draining them. It is the echo that they use to know whether the oil is still deep or whether the oil is, is, has started finishing. They use echo to determine the depth of the presence of the gas or oil inside the ground. Five, continuous occurrence of echo due to the multiple reflection of sound improves hearing in all parts of the building. Now we move over to process of hearing. You look at the diagram, diagram of our ear, we will use it to say the process through which we hear. And we have six basic stages or steps to which we hear. Six basic steps to how we hear. One, sound transferred into the ear canal and causes the eardrum to move or vibrate. Two, the eardrum will vibrate, will vibrate with the different sounds. Terrain. Different sounds vibration make their way through the ossicle to the cornea. Four, the sound vibration make the fluid in the cornea travel like ocean waves. Five, Movement of fluid in turn makes the hair cells. That is the, the auditory nerves pick up any neural signal created by the hair cells. The hair cells at one end of the cornea transfer low pitch sound information and the hair cells at the opposite end transfer high pitch sound information. The auditory nerves move signal to the brain when they collect these sound from the hair cells. The auditory nerves, the nerves that collect the information from the brain, that is the, the nerves in, the, in our brain that are responsible of picking up information. They will pick up that information and the signal to the brain. And it is in the brain that the, the sound that they have picked up, the sound information that they have picked up is interpreted or translated into a recognizable and meaningful sound. It is the brain that tells us what we hear. It is the brain that tells us whether we are hearing noise or whether we are hearing music or any different types of sound we are hearing, it is the brain that interprets, interprets it, and we hear it. Evaluation and assignment. Define sound energy. Two, explain two ways how sound energy can be produced. Seren, state the form through which sound energy can be transferred. Four, state two applications of vehicles. Five, explain how sound is reflected. Six, mention two steps in the process of hearing. Thank you. We have come to the end of our lesson today. Our, my contact is 
080-686-32319. And my name is Mrs. Onyeka Benedict. Thank you and God bless you.